All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shattered Pixel Dungeon, where we are playing as the sniper. And we just identified our armor. Sorry for the silence, this bat is peeving me off. So this armor is no good, so we're going to equip our leather armor. We'll get rid of that chainmail. And uh, we have a bunch of other leather armors that need to be identified, but we don't have a remove curse scroll, so it kind of makes things difficult. Uh, there's an identification scroll. Oh, let's hide. Let's hide from the bat in the grass. Du, 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 du. I'm gonna slow you down. Oh no, bats are pretty fast. We're gonna need to increase our. Uh, Get out of here. Dude! Okay. Let's increase our speed. Full tilt ahead. Full tilt ahead. This is episode 3, by the way. Ring of Haste, 190% speed. Should, uh... Should be pretty useful. Okay. There's another strength potion. And, uh... What's all this about? Is this some crazy dead end? Okay. Okay, I don't know what's up with that room. It's kind of a useless room. That does happen sometimes. Another identify scroll, that's nice. Don't know if I want to use it on the uh, leather armors. Now for him, come on, I thought I was a sniper. I, I should be able to see through. Here, we're gonna run a little bit away. Where is he? Do, 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 do. Ha! There we go. Yeah, those bats are like really fast enemies, so it's hard to keep your speed up with them, but. We're doing pretty good now, I think. I'd really like to find a remove uh, remove curse scroll. Even just one would be nice. That would be fantastic. Hello. Some more armor. There, let's run. There we go. We need to keep that, too. We've got too much going on here. Up, 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 up. Where'd you go? Boom, yeah. This sniper vision is quite nice. Okay. So, that's a weird dead end right up there. Um, okay. You know, I don't know about this. Kinetic longsword. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with just fast weapons. I, I like the whole, you know, speed thing. I like, um, I like, you know, going full speed here. Um, okay, and then we do have a little bit of money. We could take a risk and equip this. Oh, and it was cursed. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Is there really no remove curse scrolls here? Well, we took a risk. Let's buy that healing potion. We're gonna need to come back to the store. Well, now we need to go find a uh, remove curse scroll. Remember, all of our leather armors are down there by the store. We'll come back as we identify them. <gasps> a power friggin' fist! Or a stone gauntlet. This is a very fast weapon. Oh, baby! Oh! Oh! That... Oh, is it? Let's see. Ah, oh, it's cursed. Curse you! We definitely want to uh, to use that with uh, with our haste ring. Oh, actually, I'm just going to start upgrading it now. There, that removed the curse. Yeah, we'll just start upgrading it. So we currently have 15 strength. If we can get that stone gauntlet down to uh, 16, then we'll be able to equip it um, quite soon. Oh, 
Boom. Suck it. All right. Man, finding so many wands. Huh. I don't know if I want to even use that lightning wand. Let's see, is it cursed? It's not cursed. Maybe we should use it um, for now, just to identify it, instead of the uh, golem wand. So we'll just put it down there in the hotbar. And uh, let's slow that guy down and we'll zap We'll use our, uh, we'll use the lightning wand. Oh, it's a weak lightning wand. That sucks. It's not very powerful. I don't know if I really want to use that then. I was hoping it would have, like, more charges on it. You suck. Uh, no thanks. Man, I want to use that. I want that freaking stone gauntlet. We got some kunais. Man, we're getting all kinds of stuff here. Let's eat this uh, this candy cane. Get that out of our inventory. Oh, and more food. More free food. Come here, free food. What? Defeated giant. Oh, I killed six piranhas. I guess you get a badge for that. That's good. Yay for me. And then we're so fast, we could just run in here, grab that, and run away without any problems, but... Whoops. Okay. Crap. Hold on. That's what this is for. Activate! We're gonna... Um, oh, no, wait. Dang it. Um, hmm. This is what we'll do. We'll put a uh, storm vine here. And that will cause him some confusion hmm now what can we do we'll need some and then we'll go invisible and then deactivate this there he should that yeah, there that sent him off the cliff the stormvine seed will cause confusion in enemies so they won't be able to control the uh, direction that they go And so, in this case, he was on a bridge, and he walked off the bridge. And if anyone asks, it was a suicide. And Epstein didn't kill himself. Alright. Down you go. Okay. So now... Let's, uh... One thing with the disintegration wand that we're not utilizing as much as we could be is it can attack through enemies like that. So very useful. Line some folks up and take them down. All right, yeah. So I don't think we're gonna use this um, this anymore. So let's freeze him. Try to get our golem. Okay. Boom! Thank you, golem. Very useful. How that wand works, it's actually a very powerful wand. Very good wand. Oh, there's our another upgrade. Our another upgrade scroll. Oh, we got it down to 16. All we need is a one strength potion, and we'll be able to use that. And we'll have the best, very fast weapon in the game. But yeah, anyways, how that um, that living earth wand works is when you hit someone with it, it generates a small shield around you, so it increases your um, defense. Um, if you're able to get your defense up enough with it without enemies taking it down, we might have to use a health potion, then it'll generate that golem for you. It may be health potion time. It may be health potion time. Let's see. Man. Frickin' inventory. All rent again. <gasps> we do have a strength potion. Oh, man. We can equip that power. Okay. Screw this. I'm healing. And let's equip this. 8 to 24 damage. And it's very fast. Oh, baby. We're gonna be 
just freaking hurting people. We're like the Flash now. And we got another upgrade scroll. I don't know if I want to upgrade. Well, yeah. Let's increase the strength of that power fist. 9 to 27. So now it's actually more than our scimitar. Okay, you come here. I want to punch you rapidly. But he died on the first punch. Um, and I also want to go down to the store. Oh my god, see, we have too much stuff. Ugh. I hate dealing with inventory space. Like, I hate that that's an issue. That's a part of the game. Very real part of the game. But it doesn't mean I can't hate it. Whoops. And we'll put more into our, uh, our haste ring eventually as well. Oh, I'm going to power fist you. Boom! That sounds dirty. Um, okay, yeah, let's go back up immediately. Um, we have 1,300 gold now, so... We got some cash. And we still haven't found a freaking remove curse scroll. Have we even identified that armor? No, not even. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I don't know why I said that. Okay, goodbye, Simtar. You uh, you were very, very useful. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Hmm, can't really get rid of that yet, that uh, armor. But we will be eating more of those food items and clearing those out of our inventory. I need to cook those uh, that meat there. Um, okay, another health potion. We'll go with the health potion. And, uh, identify, scroll, uh, more food. We're gonna have, like, a, just a ridiculous abundance of food. It's gonna be ridiculous. What does this do? Protective film, nice. So, I won't forget that those, um, leather armors are there. It's just we need to be able to identify this one and remove the curse from it to find out whether or not, you know, equipping those other leather armors will be actually useful. Do you want some power fist, sir? Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Um, okay, so we're on the 13th floor here. Let's, uh... I mean, Frig, man, you know? Hopefully, I'd just like to find some, uh... Oh, yeah. Love that. Murdering people. Okay, got a levitation potion. What's in here? And hello. Come this way. Hello. I'm a floating goddess of doom. Yes. I normally would never call myself a goddess, but she's a chick. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, a bunch of potions and stuff down here. Boom. Ooh, that's an experience potion. We can drink that right away. Pick up the honey pot. Oi, man. Okay, you know what? Um, let's identify some of these. Ooh! Oh, man. That is awesome armor. Crap. Okay, this is what we're going to do. There's no way that the leather armor can be better than that armor. So that is going to be our permanent armor. If not permanent, then at least pretty long term. Oh yeah, these size. Dang it. I keep forgetting. Okay. Well, here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to leave... We'll leave... We'll leave this armor here. Pick these up. And, um... Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Down to the store. Where's the exit? Last time that we'll be going to the... Damn it. Last time that we'll be going to the store in the caves. I know it's a little repetitive, but... You know, inventory management is a part of this game, and uh, a part of inventory management is just going to the freaking store and selling stuff. Some people might get angry. Oh, you're wasting time. Well, no, not really. I mean, we have a lot of food, and we're extremely fast, so... Don't worry about it, eh? 
Okay, and then we're gonna sell these. Here you go. Take those. Some serious freaking scale mail armor there. Oh man. Boom. You ain't got nothing on me, son. And then, uh, okay. Bum, 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 bum. Down here. Grab this uh, anti entropy armor. Um, even though it's cursed, we will need to uh, eventually we'll want to use it. Oh wow, that's plus one as well. So we want to remove the curse from there. First thing that we want to do is remove the curse from our leather armor. Okay, we are now on the 14th floor. The next floor is the boss floor. Jeez, man. Hello. Guess who's gonna die? You. Whoops. Go Golem! Nice. And then we still have a little bit left over. Another upgrade scroll. Hmm. What should we do with that upgrade scroll? I don't know. I just really want to just get rid of that that curse from our armor. Should never have uh, equipped that. That's why you don't equip stuff that you don't know what it is. Learn from me. Learn from my mistakes. Otherwise we'd have way better armor on right now. Oh my god. We have so much food, it's quite ridiculous. Hello, what are you gonna do way over there? Up, oh, oopsies. Haha. <laughs> Another key. So, let's go see what's in here. Bunch of treasure? I think that's probably all money. Usually when there's three chests like that in a locked room. Ooh, that was a lot of money. There's nothing else that we really want to buy at the store. If only they had remove curse freaking scrolls. That's the next thing that we're waiting on. The next big thing that we're waiting on. I don't even know how much um, curse or how much strength this armor has. We still haven't identified it after all that time. Definitely not worth the risk. But soon we'll find a uh, remove curse scroll. We can't go forever. Like, I'm pretty sure we've already identified the Remove Curse Scroll, right? Oh my god. We didn't? What? Okay, so the store probably has one down there. We just... I thought we identified it for some crazy reason. I don't know why. Okay, well, before the boss, we will remove the curse from this armor. The boss is very soon... Oh man, okay, that that was a stupid thing on my part. I thought that we had already identified the uh, remove curse scroll, so therefore I didn't buy any unidentified scrolls um, at the store. So I guess we will be going back to the store one more time. Dear God, so much food. But, you know, the thing is, I mean, with all this food, I'm not too concerned about... Um, you know, not too concerned about the time that we're wasting going back and forth to the uh, store. Oh man, I love that. I love, I love this. It's so satisfying just pelting them with. Oh man, so here's the blacksmith. He's the quest giver. Okay, so he gave us that axe. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave this armor here. And we'll pick up the axe, and uh, I'm going to sell that glaive. I guess we can leave this armor here as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to the store. Oh, you know what we can do? To save some inventory space, we can... All these fire traps. Whoops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Whatever. Throw. There, we can cook all that meat so it goes back into one pile. We have freaking 11 charred meats. That's... Insanity. Okay, so we need 15 uh, dark gold ore. Um, here, let's replace our inventory with that. One, two, three, four. I don't care. Send all the enemies to me, whatever. I'll beat them. 
Oh, it's one of these guys. He's gonna drop an enchanted item. He has some size. Okay, so what were we at? Four? Whoops. Five, six, seven. Whoops. Damn it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Let's see what's in here. And another one down here. Twelve. Thirteen. Two more. Fourteen. And fifteen. Okay, that's fifteen gold pieces of ore. Here you go, sir. And uh, we can't, we need to combine those two armors, but we can't do it until we uh, remove the curse, which um, we're going to try and get that done now. So back to the store. I know, again, sorry. It's annoying. My mistake. But you know what? Along the way, we'll probably encounter some enemies and kill them and, you know, gain even more levels. We're freaking level six, 17 now. That's... We're pretty over-leveled. We're pretty over-leveled, so... We're doing good. The more levels that we can get, the better. And let's see where we're at with that. Uh, six experience out of 90, okay. Alrighty, yes, I really want to get rid of this stupid armor. Um, okay, magic mapping. Terror scroll, Swolio, it could be this scroll. Terror scroll, and Yingavi scroll. Uh, let's get rid of these size, as well as this glaive. Normally I love the glaive. Feels weird selling one. Okay, let's see here. Cleanse an item, so we finally found a remove curse scroll. And what does this scroll do? Oh, that freaking scroll, okay, whatever. So, while we don't have another one, um, we can now officially unequip this armor and equip that stronger armor until we find a remove curse scroll to remove the curse from the other scale armor. And then we can combine them both once the other one's decursed. So let's go up here. Grab these. Boom, boom. There. So we're going to 2 to 16 damage protection instead of 0 to freaking 4. Dear lord. Yeah. Okay. Well, Mr. Blacksmith, I'll come back later when I have, uh... When I have something for you. Uh, we'll have a remove curse scroll soon. Cool thing is, he's right here next to the boss door, so we're about to fight the boss here now. And this should be interesting. This is what we're going to do. Let's send off our, uh, our mirror image, compadres. Oh, hey, and we're missing a thing here. We need to put our uh, disintegration wand back on. Okay, where is he? There he is. Okay, so ideally you want to fight this guy in the water, if you can. So let's slow him down, and then we're going to hang out over here and just blast him. And we're also going to throw this, uh... Oh, damn it! I threw it the wrong way. Man! That is so annoying. Come on. Power fist. Go, power fist! Boom! Okay, he's dead. Uh... Stupid B, I'm sorry. That would have been would have been useful if I didn't screw it up and throw it the wrong way. Like an idiot. Damn it man, I'm making a lot of dumb mistakes. I hope I'm not pissing you off too much. I'm pissing myself off. 
that makes you feel any better. Okay, here you go, sir. Um, take that crappy armor, take these metal shards, and this shattered honeypot. Okay, so where is the removed curse scroll? There it is. It's the one with the square on it. Okay. And then do we have more money? Yeah. We can get this bandolier as well, finally clear up some of that inventory space. And uh, might as well buy this potion. Uh, might as well get this... No. Now I'll get this food. Take this food, why not? Now there's one um, identification scroll there that we can uh, check out. Okay, so let's remove the curse from this armor. Boom, curse removed. And then we're going to head back down to our friend, the blacksmith. Hello, sir. I would like to combine this armor with this armor. Boom. There we go. So now it's plus three instead of plus two. And, uh... Do, 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 do. And let's, uh... Hmm. Let's upgrade our power fist yet again. So now it's plus five. As well as our haste ring. And next we'll upgrade our haste ring. And so yeah, that's it. We are now in the, uh, oh god, Dwarven Metropolis. Things are a little bit tougher here. But I'm sure we'll uh, manage. <coughs> As usual, I need to say, um, like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate to hear your thoughts and any uh, video likes that you give. You know, I appreciate that too. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, of course, you know, I'll be uh, posting content, more content for you to enjoy, and hopefully you enjoy. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below. We'll uh, continue off in the Dwarven Metropolis on the next episode. We're, uh, we're getting pretty close. We're almost there, guys, so let's do this. All right, we'll see you on the next episode. Bye.